Hi, it's Professor Davis. I see you've uh, registered with Course Compass. You've logged into the class site and uh, you've made it to the uh, orientation folder. So I just wanted to take a couple minutes to go over the course syllabus with you. Uh, you have it there in the orientation folder. Let's go over it together. I guess at the beginning here, um, you see my name and then you see the my email address. Make sure you use that student version of the email address that ends with mail dot lakelandcc dot edu. Um, <clears throat> that, uh, that student server has uh, uh, features for us that we can use like superscripting, subscripting, uh, Greek letters that can help us when we're communicating with each other. So I would urge you to use um, the Lakeland email system uh, when you're corresponding back and forth with me. <clears throat> Let's see, you've already uh, you even enrolled in the class, so you've made the prerequisite. Let's skip over that. And you have the My Math Lab uh, access code. Make sure you have your graphing calculators. You'll start using those in earnest in Chapter 3. And uh, also, there's this uh, summary notebook. I wanted to talk about that for just a minute. That's just a simply a soft cover copy of the ebook. So if you feel like you need something physical to have in your hands, you can go ahead and get that summary notebook. But if you want to save your money, uh, you know, go, certainly, you're certainly not required. Uh, you know, all, all the materials you'll need are right at the Course Compass site. Well, let's talk about the grading structure here a little bit. Uh, first, uh, what makes up the bulk of the grade are the tests. Uh, the tests cover two chapters at a time. Uh, the first test covers chapters uh, 1 and 2, then 3 and 4 for the second test and so on. Notice the final is not comprehensive. It only covers uh, chapters 7 and 8, those um, assigned sections from that. So the tests are taken at a drop-in basis at the LCC Testing Center, room 1040B. So you'll walk in there, you'll give them your, uh, you'll show them your ID, and they'll give you the test. Uh, all the tests must be proctored so that uh, first, you know, the authentication, we can uh, make sure the person taking the test is the person enrolled in the class. And second, I want to be able to give you partial credit on problems, you know, to kind of help your grade out a little bit. So um, you can go into the testing center and notice the testing center hours here and uh, notice the testing center is closed on Sunday so don't depend on taking your test that day so those uh, those uh, um, those times are also given at the Lakeland website so you go in and take your test for those so there are um, three tests during the quarter test one two and three hundred points each final is also worth 100 points so that makes up the bulk of the grade now there's also um, some online homework. Let me talk about that. Uh, the online homework is done in the online homework area of the class website. And uh, uh, the way that works is it's simply a practice area for you to, to uh, you know, learn the material. You can do the problems over and over again, each problem as much as you want. But keep in mind that once you open up the uh, online homework assignment, you have to finish it and you have to do that in one session. You can't do a few problems, stop and take a break, come back later and do some more problems. You have to do them all in one setting. And like I said, you can do them over and over again till you get it right. So um, you, know, you should be able to uh, get full credit for all those. So um, as far as the uh, point distribution, there's three tests, 60% of the grade, that's 300 points. The online homework is 100 points, 20% of the grade. Final exam, that's also 100 points, 500 total altogether. So notice the grading scale is typical 10% increments. Um, if you get from 450 to 500 points, you get an A. 400 to 449, you get a B, and so forth. Uh, a couple other things I want to mention on the testing. Uh, there's a academic calendar you found in the uh, uh, class handouts area and let me go over real quick here and notice here all of those uh, online homework uh, assignments are due on Sundays at 11.55 so you have till the end of Sunday night to get those done each week 
and uh, notice the class is broken down into modules. Those modules uh, cover all two, three, and one time four sections of the textbook, so they're kind of broken down into chunks like that. And notice the, uh, the three tests, the deadline to take those tests, are on Mondays. Now keep in mind you don't have to come in that specific day, the last day to take the test. You can come in the week before, you can come in on Saturday, uh, remember it's closed on Sunday, but y you don't have to come in that specific day. You can come in a few days before, so uh, you take your calendar, make sure you, uh, you're you available to come in and take those tests uh, before those deadlines. That's really the only rule in this class is that um, uh, you know, you have to have the test done by the deadline dates that are written here in the academic calendar. Now notice one more thing about the calendar. The final exam is not on a Monday. It's on Saturday. So make sure you account for that. You can't come in on Monday. This is the very last day of the um, eight-week summer term. So I want to give you as long as possible to get that done. And notice that the final online homework assignment, that deadline is due on Friday of the next to last day of the uh, eight-week summer term. So make sure you account for that. So the final exam and the last online homework assignment are on uh, different days than all the others. So make sure you plan ahead on that. Uh, let's see. Uh, a couple other things on the syllabus. Let's say, for example, you're taking the class and you don't live in the Northeast Ohio area. That's okay. Just send me an email explain to me your situation. I'll send you some information on how you can get your test proctored off campus at another institution. And I also have some uh, general course tips, uh, notes on assigning grades, so make sure you read over those. And then uh, at the end here, I've got some uh, notes on what I call the cycle of learning. Now in the next video I'll talk about some learning styles, the different learning styles you can use to get familiar with the course. So that's just the course syllabus, I wanted to go over that with you. And uh, that is part one of our orientation.